Good afternoon guys, it's uh, Lockie here. Most of you know me as Lockie. Uh, actually my name's Tony. But <laughs> um, Okay, today I thought I would um, put together the Bixler um, fuselage. I've called this the Fixler. <laughs> um, reason being, if uh, uh, like me, um, probably many of you guys have got uh, or had a Bixler um, crashed it that many times that the fuselage is useless but the wing is still good and it's funny because the wing seems to hold up um, so here we go um, as you can see the uh, I've done the the fuselage in all different colors this time I've, I made one out of um, PLA, uh, lightweight PLA, uh, and it flies very nice. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, have a go and uh, put together a, a w one from uh, PLA Plus. A little bit heavier, and I will weigh all these parts before we uh, before I put them together. <coughs> now, as always, I'm going to use my. Uh, slip joint uh, slip lock system and uh, it consists of little hooks that fit in through the formers and are glued into place and then they simply hook into the next former and then we use a carbon fiber tube uh, I use arrow shafts now um, to uh, uh, slip through the um, fuselage and this locks everything into place uh, the only thing you have to watch is to make sure that you've got the hooks facing down and facing out to the flat side with the little lip. Uh, the little lip is there to stop the former slipping in too far. Um, it sounds like somebody wants me. Hey again guys. Well, what I've done, I've glued in the hooks into well all bar a couple into the formers now <coughs> rule of thumb put the hooks into the formers with the odd numbers they've all got the number stamped on the former or printed into the former f1 f2 etc um, and all i'm doing is taking the little hooks making sure that they're facing downwards uh, a little bit of super glue CA and I just use the the cheap the cheap hobby king CA for all my plastic gluing all the plastic together of course you can't use this one for for foam uh, it just eats its way through the foam but as I say making sure that all the hooks are facing down and on the odd numbers <coughs> if they're on the odd numbers it means they're on the rear section of the front part each time Okay, and again, this is just the cheap Hobby King accelerator. Okay, now we can glue these uh, formers into the corresponding uh, fuselage parts. Uh, there are a couple. Well, I haven't bothered putting the formers in. Um, the formers are there in case you have a bad landing or crash um, but if you've built um, models with with 3d printing um, you'll know that if you come in and have a heavy landing or a crash and you damage part of the fuselage basically the whole fuselage has had it because it's very difficult to rejoin it um, with 
with this system you can actually just slip out one part slip in the new part okay uh, yes where was I and this camera very rudely switched off uh, yes yeah, so, um, as I was saying um, the reason for the joining system is so that um, if you have a crash or a heavy landing and you damage part of the fuselage it's simply a matter of slipping out the the part that's damaged, print a new part and then slipping the new part in with the clips. Um, saying that I've not bothered like this for instance I've just made it a, a slip glue joint because well it the the rear of the fuselage uh, is the part that really ever gets damaged uh, and two uh, it would be just extra weight on the back end as this is uh, PLA and not uh, lightweight PLA it's going to be um, heavy enough as it is I've actually lengthened the nose of the fuselage on this one uh, by about 30 mil so um, what I need to do first of all is Just make sure that these are lining up the holes for the uh, push rods are lining up and I'm just going to ream them out a little with a, a two millimeter drill just to make sure that there's no plastic binding in there Them out when I've got the formers on to make sure that they're clear. I'm going to put the push rod through because even with the, the carbon fibre tube in there, there's still a little bit of a twist in there. So if I put these, uh, these are 1.5 mil. <coughs> This is normally what I use as push rods, but I found in the, the last one I did, I had to use one mil or 1.2 because they were a little tight. But they seem, they seem fine. It's really just a matter of making sure that the, the two parts of the fuselage are lined up. And, okay, so I'm going to put the glue around avoid getting it close to the push rod <clears throat> wipe off any excess and then just make sure that the push rods and the carbon fiber tube are quite free. <clears throat> and the same when we put the uh, other section on, we do the same thing. And then we'll check them out. And this is F4, which I'll go on to there. Just do a test fit with these formers before you before you actually um, put glue on them, because often when you um, when you print. As you'll know if you've done any 3D printing at all, you get what they call a, often an elephant's foot on the bottom, which spreads the 
the bottom of the printer. So you really, I use a knife and I go around and I clean up both the outside and the inside. Um, and inside the, the tubes, um, just to make sure they're all clear. Um, so I say, it's always a good idea anyway to, to do a test fit before you glue. That one is fine. <clears throat> a little bit of glue down in the slots as well <clears throat> good idea if you can and where you can the ones without the, the little um, hooks on you can actually lay this on the bench just move it around to make sure it doesn't stick itself to the bench which makes sure that the former is is in firmly and nice and flat. <coughs> you will find there's a little tiny lip left on there. Um, I, I actually um, make these a little tiny bit oversized so that you can just use the knife And just take off any excess around around the former, and then you can use stamp out and just stand down. But I'm not going to do that now anyway. So, uh, but you can just sand that down on and and just take off the excess with the knife. Uh, make a nice smooth joint. Okay, because I'm not going to do that now. <coughs> so that's the first section. <coughs> the next part, we can glue in F1 into the. As you can see, I've colour coordinated the uh, the former with the fancy looking colours I've used. <laughs> okay, so that's a nice fit. <clears throat> and if you're looking at my tummy, yes, I look like I'm pregnant. And yes, I am trying to do something about it. I've started walking every day. Um, I'm trying to cut down my intake of food a little. You will find on this former you have to cut out a little section just there um, because it has to print that way to print properly. Um, you can either cut out the little section there or the little section in there. And it's the same on a couple of... Oh no, I think that one's okay. It's one of the others that you have to do that with. That wasn't a good thing to do. Just make sure that the former is right in up to the shoulder, otherwise the two parts are not going to fit together properly. Okay, F3, F3, you can only go in one way. Okay, that fits nice, so we can glue that in.
again just make sure it's it's right home up against the shoulder nice and flat and again on this section I've not bothered doing a slip joint I'm going to glue these two parts together and there is a reason again for that uh, because this is where the wing saddle goes, where the wing fits um, so I wanted that all in uh, all in one piece um, and as my printer only prints up to 200 or 210 uh, I can't go any higher saying that it's not always possible because I always like to print in spiral mode uh, it's not always possible to for instance print that it wouldn't work um, so the reason I've got different sizes is because that's how it wants to print um, in spiral mode yeah it takes a, a little bit of working out okay before I put this together uh, again because it's printed in spiral mode this little web here has to be in there but it's not part of the design so we have to cut that out um, now you can use a, a knife or you can use a, a soldering iron or you can use a hot knife now I do have a hot knife somewhere so I shall plug this in and see if it works Oh, that seems to be working. Um, <coughs> okay, yes, well, there's a couple of things. Um, that need to be done, a couple of bits that need to be cut out uh, because as I say, because I always print in spiral mode it's not always possible to print uh, without leaving a web or something there to um, to enable it to, to spiral um, so inside here for instance where it zigzags through that needs to be trimmed out but it's quite easy to just use a sharp knife See that now. I've done one side. And now I'll just do the other side. Okay, so that's nice and clean now, down inside there. And now I'll use the hook knife to, to cut out this section here.
the little bit that we need to take out to clear that web for the wing. I think I've buckled that with a with a heat, so I'll see if I can get it back. <coughs> Glue that seam back together. That's hidden inside the wing, so it's not super critical. That's nice and clean that bit there. And again, we can send that because that's going to be the wings going to be in there. So that's what we've done. We've cut out that little bit there.